Hi there, I'm Jeremy Bryant for SignComp, and I'd love to show you some creative uses with our extrusion, as well as saving you time and labor in the shop. Welcome to the SignComp Virtual Trade Show. At each and every trade show, we always get the same question. What's new with SignComp? So what we've done, we've taken our 30-foot booth this year, and we've taken a handful of our profiles and broken into different segments or different environments in which we found very, very popular throughout the year. Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you through each one of these environments and I'm going to show you and break down each of those profiles and how we reach that point. Let's go ahead and get started. A common area that we find our extrusions being used is in hospitality as well as restaurants. Now on the sign behind me, this is a fabric frame, so it's called our soft signage system. What that takes is a fabric or a textile type material but instead of needing that silicone edge around the perimeter, we completely took that away with our grip strip technology. So on the inside here, you see that little black system here? Those are rubberized fingers. So on the inside, that's what's going to grasp, grasp onto the fabric. Okay? All we require is oversize your fabric or graphic by about an inch all the way around. And with that, you take a vinyl squeegee and it tucks right on the inside, securing that face into place. From there, we have a small pull tab off to the side. You can easily remove that face to start over again. Now, the version up here, the three and a half inch deep, is for illumination purposes. The one I showed you here is one inch in depth, and they all come anodized so it can be used as your finished product. Now, moving exterior, we have our standard systems that are vandal proof. Okay, so instead of having a full cabinet that's vandal proof, we can turn these on their sides. Put the custom miter cuts on there and you can create a menu board system. Now this one here is just shown with two doors. They can hinge open. Now we can change the graphics on the inside. We supply the piano hinge as well as the barrel locks and keys. And then we're just going to secure that shut. Very simple. On the inside here, you'll notice a reader board with a speaker. All that is is our 1940 retainer. Once again, turn vertically, custom cut. Join these together so it looks like dividers. Bond a face directly to the outside, so that gives you the option of routing out the faces for that. Now on the other side, we have a header reader system. So instead of running vertically like we saw on the other side, these ones are just laid horizontally. So if we didn't need that entire system to be protected by that door, we can split this up into two sections. Here we have our header with a slide-in face. You can still bond a face to the outside if you want to give that push-through look. But below here, we have our larger vandal system. Now this one's gonna hinge downward towards us, but typically it's gonna hinge upward. And with the larger system, we do have gas shocks to help support that door and hold it upright so we can change the copy. Now that's gonna be a little bit more towards schools or churches, something that we need to protect those letters. Now once again, it's available in single or double-sided out of our standard product line. In interior applications, we have our soft signage and we can't stress this enough that this is just a couple of examples in which our extrusions are used. These can be used throughout the process. Now let's go take a look at the next one. Now what needs more changeovers than the financial division? Okay, so we came up with a few examples and really one of the more popular systems that we tend to see out there when it comes to financial. Starting here in the center is our banner tensioning frames. This example here is a single-sided six-inch deep solution, but what I want to point out is our cast radius corners. Those are available in 6 inch or 9 inch and are ready to go in about 15 minutes. So if we don't want to do any kerf cutting for you, these are available in sets of 4 or 2, single, double sided, variable depth as well. Now above that yet is our flat body configuration. Now this is one of my favorite samples because it's versatile. This example is 3 and a quarter inch, but you see on the right hand side we're doing a route out push through. Hinging open for service so we never have to tinker with the face again. And over here on the right side, channel letters. You can build a custom size backer and mount your channels, channel letters directly to that to give it a completely different look than adding a raceway. Last but definitely not least is our directional sign here using the sign count post and panel. Now this particular system, once again, we're showing you with two different posts because of the modularity of the system. Now these are available 2 inch all the way up to 7 inch with the structural posts. They can be direct buried or plate mounted. What environment needs more up-to-date signage than healthcare and transportation? 
That's one of the areas we made in the new SignCon booth over here. And we have a few new signs in here that I'd like to go through. And once again, it's taking our original products that we already had and kind of turning them into creative uses that we found fitting. So above me, we have a sign that we found that can be used in airport signage, directional signage. This is just out of the architectural line, a very slim single-sided cabinet. But keep in mind, we can also go double-sided with variable depth in between. This one in particular is a hingeable face service. You can remove a retainer as well and slide the face out if we ever needed a change so you're not completely demolishing and starting over from scratch with a sign. <clears throat> over here out of our post and panel line, we actually brought that interior and did a quick flag mount sign. Now this is just a mini version of what you could really do by bringing an interior using a combination of our two inch square and a soft radius with a body in between just to give it that nice appearance. Now moving exterior, this is one of my favorite cabinets that we put in the booth. Now this is combining two product lines, that's kind of the sign comp advantage, is we can take variable depth cabinets and combine them into one. At the top here, with our custom services, we were able to curve cut our four inch body. With our main double sided cabinet here out of the insert panel, we put a custom miter cut on the end here using the insert panels. We can do quick change out because the divider is concealed behind each one of these panels. So if you need to add a new tenant, we're just going to remove a retainer, slide that out, put that back in, aluminum panel or plastic, just let us know what you need. Even bringing the insert panel interior, you can see this design is inside of an airport just like the one above me. Also on this new booth side, we wanted to really highlight our custom services area. On the presentation behind me, it's going to be in the link below. but. Behind me is going to be a series of projects that customers have used and taken advantage of the sign comp custom services that we offer. One of those being the kerf cut capabilities. All right, so you can see this letter D here. Uh, there's multiple kerf cuts in here as well as custom angles. So keep that in mind. In this particular case, the customer had submitted a DXF or a DWG file so we could extract that information and find the proper solution for them. In this particular case, we went with a six inch single-sided, all-in-one tension frame, part number 2233. You can see the lower half. We wanted to show you that the extended leg on the inside here eliminates the perimeter shadows. Also around here, you'll see that there's three different curved cut areas, all right? This tight radius up here, if you can see, we had to go closer together to get that tighter radius versus the outside and the inside radius that you see here. That's the sign comp advantage is that we will extract that information and give the proper kerf cut so you're not being overcharged or getting the inappropriate amount of cuts in there. We don't want, to, want too flimsy of a piece of extrusion for you. So all of these areas have been put into a drawing, sent to our shop, and with the proper cuts put into it. So this is a great example, even showing the, the, the matte white paint so that way the LED lights can get to the uh, perimeter on that. So once again, the presentation behind me, there is going to be a link below that you can click on this presentation and see some really neat applications in which we were able to add our custom services to that. Now keep in mind, it doesn't always have to be our flex frames. Our standard and econo comp can also be curve cut as well as our architectural. So please submit your drawings to us and we'll be able to assist. So over on this side of the booth, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through all of our product lines, introducing you to our floor mount samples as well as some corner samples, maybe even some three inch samples behind me. So starting with Econo Comp, we're going to move to standard, architectural, and commercial as well. Now getting into the Econo Comp, it is exactly what it says. It's an economic solution for sign cabinets. We have single sided and a couple of double-sided body options. Now we do want to kind of temper our expectations with the size that we go with these. Because the walls are a little bit thinner, that's how it's a little bit more economically priced. Now you'll notice here all four sides of the retainers are removable, but we're still going to only service from one end. Okay, so being held with corner keys, we're going to get in here and we're going to slide our face in or out, whether it's during the fab process or for servicing down the road. I do want to point out our divider systems. Not only is it available in EconoComp, but it's also in the rest of the fleet that we offer. Now, even though it's a little bit more economically priced, there's still a ton of features and benefits with EconoComp. As we see here, we have the indent for the backer, so that way it sits nice and flush, especially, obviously, single-sided applications. Hanger bar provision is still present onto the body. 
as well as the inner body phalanges for a little bit more structural and support that you wanted on inside there. Now I will point out Econocomp is best used for adhesive or the screws that we provide. Welding is probably not the best option because there's no body angles, it's only held together with corner keys because the thinner wall, we don't want to risk bubbling or possibly blowing through the walls. If welding is the choice or structural adhesive still, we move into the standard one part, two part system. The floor sample left to me, we're going to go over here in a second, but I still want to stick with the corner sample here. Now the one part, what that is, is that's where the, the retainer is actually extruded into the body. This is once again just a single sided application. We mirror that, now we have a double sided application. We have eight, nine, 12, and a couple of six body options for you. Now if we want to get any larger, that's where we will just go with the two part system, add a larger retainer to it, so that way it'll increase the depth if need be. Now on the inside here, the flanges are still present. But if you can see that corner angle that's now provided with this system, it already has pre-punched holes into it. Now the holes are for adhesive. These ribs in the body give it separation so the adhesive has that um, capability to spread out and really harden inside there. Otherwise we come up here, now we can weld it and screw it with no problem. Now in, in traveling over to the, to the wall sample here that we have, you can still see how nice and clean this is because it's the one part body. Double sided nine inch, just like the Econo Comp we went over, but you can see that the retainer is only removable on one end. Still held together with corner keys, okay? Just to lock that in and keep the corners nice and square. But you can see we're now inside the cabinet by sliding that out. We can use hanger bars if we'd like. And if the, and if the spec calls for it, we can add another divider just like you see here. So once again, this is just a nine inch double. We can get you a 12 inch utilizing the one part, two part, but we can also get deeper if we'd like by interchanging some of those retainers. Speaking of retainers, we have a system that's called Vandals, okay? Hingeable, lockable, secured system to keep the Vandals out. Now, with what we provide is we provide you the hinge, the barrel lock, and the key for it, okay? So we can swing that open to protect anything that we're trying to keep, keep nice and tight inside there. This one's a little bit fancier of what we are capable of doing, but you can see we just turn the Vandal system vertically. Now we're able to create multiple menu boards, as well as the option for bonding a face to the outside to create a speaker box or a digital message center. Now we can also turn it the other way and do a header reader, or we could just do a full cabinet where we're trying to keep everything protected. Now outside of the bodies, we have a couple of unique profiles that are in the standard product line, starting with the wall frame and the snap frame. Now the wall frame is a little bit more of a permanent solution, probably best for exterior applications, can also be used interior, but all it is is a simple J-Track. This is one of the larger ones that we have. We also have a three quarter inch one, but it just depends on the face thickness that you're using to slide this in here. Think of this as just an anodized picture frame. Now jumping over, we have the snap frames as well. Now it's not gonna be as deep as I show here. We just attach this to a body, so now we can do some wall signage, single or double sided, just some nice simple light up cabinets. But if we just wanted to stick with simply the snap frame, that is available as well. This is the flat cover. We also have a radius cover available in an anodized or mill finish. Now what separates us with our, with our snap frame is that we ask for the face thickness so we can put shims in there before we cut. So that way you're not gonna have any separation in the corners. Lastly is our edge lid extrusion. You see over here that's lit up. We only have two profiles available. There's kind of a squared off and then a half radius like you see here. But what that does is that only holds a half inch thick acrylic or glass. And then there's spring pins that are actually holding the acrylic off the bottom as well as holding it nice and straight. Now the last fleet that I wanna show you in the standard product line is our ever popular raceways. Now we have multiple sizes ranging by an eight by eight, a four by eight, five by five, and a three by five. The three by five right here is what I wanna go over with you very quickly. Now some of the features and benefits with it start with our mounting tabs, okay? Leave these loose till you get to the job site and then once you simply anchor it, it's gonna lock into place. Now the end cap actually prevents the mounting tab from falling out during transit. Now the end cap is held in by these screw bosses here. Now the screw bosses run the entire length of the extrusion, so no matter where you cut it, those are gonna be present. 
as well as our hinge lid. Now we're only securing it on one side, right on the face. So we're just gonna undo some screws, hinge that open, now we're inside of that cabinet. Make note, the lid actually hangs over the end cap for more water prevention. Now getting inside of this cabinet, this is a one piece, okay? So it's a little bit tighter confined. So you can see that there's an extra screw boss right here. This is where your power supply can sit. Okay, simply cutting this tray is gonna allow our power supply to sit here. Now we're not trying to reach all the way to the bottom. Nice benefit there, but really, first and foremost, the best feature that we have for this raceway is being able to splice. This little brace bracket we sell in 12 foot sticks, so that way we can cut it to size, and if we have a few drops laying around, they simply slide right inside of the screw boss. Now we can join our raceways together. Now you're using 100% of your drops capitalizing on the, on the sign count value there. Now we've gone over Econo and Standard. Now we're gonna go right over to the Architectural. So the Architectural system is our post and panel or post and rail, however you wanna state it. But out of all the samples behind me, we're gonna go right through the line here. Um, so starting with the RTS system, RTS stands for ready to ship. Okay, these come white or black, round or square. They are already finished for you, okay, with optional finials. They're pre-slotted 48 inches for you, but they come with a lot of features behind them. A locking strip, there's a panel tab, and there's also a post filler for you. So if your panel isn't the full 48, simply cut the T-bar, drop it in the slot. Now those come 94 inches or 144 inches, already pre-packaged and ready to go. Now moving down the line here, the next step up is our Series 1. So we're gonna go through a few series that we offer, and that's Series 2, Series 3, Series 4, and then we'll get into Series 7 here later on. But now Series 1, we have a few post options. Those are just going to be pre-slotted to your specifications. Now once we get going a little bit further in, we're going to have customers that are going to want to use either a larger body or an adapter. Okay, so the adapter is simply this little U-track that attaches to the end of our end of our panels and they slide right inside of our posts. Okay, now the universal thing with our posts is what you see here, our reveal slot. Those are present in our Series 2, Series 3, Series 4, and the Series 7, but the Series 2, 3, and 4 can all be integrated modular, so that way if we wanted to go with a Series 2 post and a Series 3 body, we can do that. Now don't forget, Sign Comp is simply the cabinet as well. So if a customer doesn't want just the panel depth, that's when we'll get into bodies. But sticking with the adapters here, we have a half inch, a quarter inch, or an eighth inch adapter, that is all depending on the face thickness, so once that's attached on either side of the panel, the customer will decide which post they want to go with. This is just simply stackable systems here. Now this could be the full panel. It doesn't have to be broken into individual ones. You just tell us the height of the panel and we can cut these adapters for you as well as the thickness. Now let's say a customer wants a deeper application. That's when we get into our bodies. I already mentioned that don't forget the sign comp is still the cabinet. We can cut the height and width, whichever system you want to go with, whether you want to apply the face or slide the face in, we have both looks for you. So in series two, two inch, we have a two by two square post and two inch bodies. Series three, three inch, and we have multiple bodies with that as well. The slide, the bleed, and the frameless, and multiple post options as well. I'm not gonna name them all, but we have eight different posts for you available. Just let us know what you'd like. And then series four, which is four inch, all with that same reveal slot, being able to interchange those. Now what happens when we want to start talking about illumination with our posts and panels? That's when we'll jump into the Series 7. Now this is this little floor sample here that we have is a Series 7, 7 inch. Three post options, radius, rectangular, or triangular. But the key with this one is this is going to start hinging open for service. So rather than removing the retainer and sliding all the faces out that you see here, we're just going to pop a few screws, get in there and service that face. Now you'll notice the visible divider that we have. That's an option. Obviously, we can run horizontally or vertically, but what happens if we want a nice clean look and we're not eating up any of our visible, uh, visible panels or visible openings on these? We'll probably steer you over to our insert panel system here. Now, the inner workings with that is individual panels or slot systems. You can see this little J hook here. What that does is that locks into the retainer as well as the concealed divider behind there. Now, if you can see, there's a black anodized system there. We do supply the panels at four inch, six inch, and eight inch. Now the anodization is so that it slides a lot better when we go to service those panels. Um, 
If you want something outside of that, whether you want to go larger or smaller than the panels we offer, we have the adapters to allow you to do a custom aluminum panel or an acrylic panel as well. So that way you just route it out, apply these to the back, and it still works within that system. So rounding this one out again, curve cut top, variance in depth, any kind of decoration you wanted to do, as well as the custom miter cuts, we can do that for you. So this was our architectural product line. Now we're gonna move into the commercial line. So in the commercial product line, there's a few things I really wanna to touch on and go over with you. Starting with our main cabinets here. So in the, in the standard product line, any counter comp, the faces slide out for service. Once we get to the commercial product line, what we're dealing with is hinge face solutions. Now we do have retainers for rigid faces. We have a two and a quarter and an inch and a half. Like I stated already, we're just gonna undo a few screws and these are gonna swing open. Now the difference in retainers is just gonna come in with your specifications, you know, depth and how big the cabinet is to, to uh, distinguish between which retainer we wanna go with. Now also in the commercial line, flex faces, rigid and flex. These still hinge open for service as well. We're just gonna ask that question is what kind of face material are you using, which is gonna lead us right to commercial for dealing with flex faces. Now this cabinet is actually very unique and it shows the inner workings of our extrusions. Now all of our bodies do have the inner phalanges, but with this commercial setup, we're showing you where we want you to put the plates in the inside of the cabinet. That's what the phalanges are for. Now once we get into hinge faces and the combination of flex, that's where our frame support tubes come into play. Because when we hinge that open, we want to make sure the face is nice and taut and keeping it square so that way it's nice and easy to close after you're done servicing that cabinet. Now with the flex faces, it's going to be everybody's favorite black tensioning clip. Now I'm going to throw a link in the bottom here of our tensioning instructions, okay? So that way it's not going to eat up a whole lot of time here. But you can see around the perimeter of our tensioning frame is going to be those clips. About every five or six inches on center, depending on which frame we're going with. And any of these frames that you see here with the teeth is going to take that tensioning clip. Like I said, we're going to put a link at the bottom so that way we can follow along with that. But I do want to make sure everybody's aware of our tensioning tool. Make sure you have one of these when it comes to flex. <clears throat> so outside of the reveal, the commercial bodies that we have, we actually have a product line that's called flat bodies. Okay, you can see here there's no, there's no reveal, but these still allow to hinge open. This one has a little bit fewer retainers than the commercial bodies, uh, the commercial bodies have. Flex face as well as rigid, but really the key point here is how nice and flat, flat bodies. This one can actually range to 24 inches double sided. So outside of the, the typical depths that we've already had throughout our product lines, we can actually get you much deeper with the flat bodies. Now I do, I do want to mention as well as outside of the bodies that we supply, we also have retro frames. So retro frame, meaning anything with a flat leg that you see here. So if you're going to custom fabricate a cabinet or if you have an existing sign structure, that leg is just going to fit like the top of a shoe box right over that. So now we're going to completely reface it rather than demoing or actually coming up with, a, uh, with an extremely deep cabinet. Now I do want to mention, this is where a lot of our curve cut comes into play is with our flex frames. Once again, we can go with retrofit or even our cabinets as well. Now over in this area here, we have some creative solutions when it comes to sneeze guards or protective barriers. I have three samples here that we're going to go through quickly. First starting with something similar that's going to be kind of cubicles. Okay, We've used our soft signage frame, put it between two of our architectural posts. For this example here, we used our three and a quarter inch radius post, double sided with our soft signage frame. Okay, so it gives a nice sound barrier as well as a protective barrier. We can go tabletop or just suspend it above the cubicles already just to get that added protection. Next, we utilized our architectural product line. This is our two by two square post. All we've done is we actually routed out the cap to match the thickness of this acrylic and it suspended it past the post. So that way we don't have the post running all the way to the top kind of taking up some of the visibility, but do keep in mind we can cut this to whatever height we would like. So if you do want that effect, we can cut that as high as the acrylic will allow. Lastly, out of our standard line, we went with our edge lit extrusion here. You can see that now we're doing a wrap around. So that way we're kind of concealed behind, getting full coverage for our sneeze protection and some of our guards that we are needing here. We just put a simple miter cut 
half inch acrylic, whatever you want to do to route that out, or if you want to make a little speaker box, you can do that. From all of us here at SignComp, we can't thank you enough for joining our virtual trade show. Please contact our customer service team or our sales staff and let us know how we can assist. Thank you again.